today we are going to discuss on the theories of social change social change is such a prevalent and often disturbing feature of contemporary life that one may be tempted to suppose that it is peculiarly modern. Social change is the significant alteration of social structures. That is, the patterns of social action and interaction, including consequences and manifestations of such structures embodied in norms, rules of conduct, values, cultural products, and symbols. In our society, changes are bound to come. In some societies, these changes are very slow, while in others, changes are rapid and fast. But no society can escape from changes. It is therefore required to take these changes into consideration for proper study of society. It is very difficult to attribute one single reason for a social change. Oswald Spangler is of the view that birth, vigor, maturity, and senile decay move in a circle and are causes of social change. Petrim Sorokin views ideational sunset and idealistic reasons for such a change. Toyinvi is of the view that inner spiritual force is the cause of all social change. Theory number one, theory of determination. According to exponents of this theory, with the passage of time, society is deteriorating and from happiness, we are advancing towards dissatisfaction. They therefore feel that social changes come due to this ever-going determination, which is inevitable. They even take the help of mythology in support of their theory. Number two theory, cyclic theory. Many of our present day thinkers have put forward of cyclic theory of social change. These include Spangler, Basser de La Paus, Wilfredo Pareto, Eb Stout Chauvin, Sorokin, and Arnold J. Toynbee. Spangler is of the view that, like day and night, society too has a predetermined course which includes its birth, growth, maturity, and decline. J. B. Vary has also contributed to this idea. On the basis of analysis of some of the great civilizations like Egyptian, Roman, and the Greek civilizations, he came to the conclusion that all these civilizations saw its decline due to cyclical theory. Wilfredo Pareto is of the view that social change is due to political circumstances. He feels that vigorous politicians 
try to capture power by disturbing the existing social order. But with the passage of time, it becomes impossible to vigorously pursue the change. And they try to use their energies for maintaining status quo. Number three, Auguste Comte's theory. Comte has said that society has passed through three stages, namely theological, metaphysical, and positive. In the theological stage society, they believe in supernatural powers and accepted the idea that these powers control our social behavior. During the second stage, that is the metaphysical stage, his ideas about supernatural powers changes and from God he came to abstraction and tried to explain social behavior through abstraction. In the third stage, which is called positive stage, everything is being empirically studied and all this is going on in a cyclical order. Number four, Harvard Spencer's theory. Harvard Spencer linked his theory of social change with organism. According to him, a society was initially a militant society which necessitated struggle for existence. It's one struggle to exist. This militant society then passed to industrialism, in which there is differentiation, and then comes to the next stage in which we pass from differentiation to integration. Number five, Karl Marx's theory about social change. Karl Marx's theory of social change is also called deterministic or single factor theory about social change. According to this theory, there is only one factor and not many factors are responsible for bringing about social change. According to Karl Marx, economic factor is the only factor responsible for bringing about social change. Marx believed that except economic factor, all other factors are useless and superfluous and sometimes even harmful. He also believed that religion was the opium of the people and it distracted masses from hard realities of life. For Marx, all ideas change with economic ideas and so also the living standard of the people. Not only this, but for Marx, our social changes, which are being witnessed in the society, are nothing but due to continuous class struggle. Number six, Bevelin's theory of social change. Bevelin has given his own theory, which is again a deterministic theory. In this theory, stress has been left on one factor, namely habit. In his opinion, way of habit is a way of thought. According to him, environment play a furnishing role in bringing about social change. According to him, habit and environment embody themselves in institutions which in the course of time intervene 
between the material exigencies of life and speculative scheme of things. Number seven, theory of religion. There are many who refute Marx's theory of economic determinism for social change. They feel that no doubt economic considerations play a considerably important role, but they feel that there are many other considerations as well. According to them, more than economic consideration are religious considerations. Max Weber contributes to the idea that religion is responsible for bringing about social change. From history, he quotes that emergence of Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, or Judaism brought considerable social changes and thus they give more importance to religion rather than to economic aspects of life for change. Number I, theory of systematic efforts. Supporters of this theory include, among others, Lunwing Stein and Hophouse, who believe that social change does not come of its own. They believe that neither materialistic nor non-materialistic efforts bring a social change of their own. On the other hand, pointed and concerned efforts will have to make for bringing about social change. These efforts include spreads of knowledge and literacy. Number nine, structural factor theory. According to this theory, each function of the society directly and positively influences the other. Every social function is complementary and none is exclusive. Therefore, they believe that changes in functions are reasons behind social change. This theory is supported by Parsons and Merton. Number 10, Pluralistic Theory. According to the exponents of this theory, it is difficult to point out a single factor, either materialistic or non-materialistic cultural or technological. Which produces social change. All combined or many collective causes combined together bring about a social change. Social changes are rapidly coming and in fact their occurrence is inevitable. But what is the rate of social change? A change may occur in different societies or in the same society at different times. It is more or less impossible to decide about the rapidity of change and determine whether change is faster than the other. From the above discussion, we may conclude that various factors must come together to bring about a rapid and effective social change. Planned and systematic efforts are needed and such efforts are very conducive for this process.